I am starting this a little bit early just to let you know this is a game two in the battle of supremacy in the Zotac Cup between Straylock and Mouse Mana. So this is a tournament. Money is on the line. And here we go. This has probably been casted by someone else, but this was released on SC2Rep.com. So in game one, Straylock was able to come back from a four warp gate push. Actually, he defended quite nicely, but came back with a three base, basically three bases versus two against Mana. Although uh, Mana did have his third up anyway. Um, the point is, Straylock did win the did win the game. Now this is going to be Lost Temple. That's the map. The players are Mouse Mana and Mouse Straylock. Yeah, here we go. Game two. Good luck, have fun, mate. <laughs> says Straylock. They are on the same team, but they still want to kill each other nonetheless. Because I gotta say that friends just want to kill each other in video games. I know I have lots of friends they love to to destroy in both StarCraft 2 and in Halo. So, um, have fun with Marauders, says Mana. He knows the play of... He knows that Straylock... You know, last game, Straylock had some very inter interesting uh, and early push. Uh, with... Uh, Straylock actually prefers girls to Marauders. I would actually prefer <coughs> Marauders to girls if I was playing StarCraft 2. Because girls... Gr a girl running around with a lollipop certainly would not be quite as intimidating as a Marauder running around with a grenade launcher. So... <laughs> To micro blank out of Protoss only with Marauders. What I like about this is that they're friends and that they're 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 playing in a tournament for money, but they're um, <laughs> man, I was just complaining about the Marauders. Um, anyway, last game, what I was trying to say is that um, Straylock he opened up with early concussive shells, which isn't usually what you see. You usually see like a uh, like a like uh, two, two like just lots of Marines with. Um, uh, combat shield, or you'll see like an early stim push, but he did uh, double two marauders with a couple of SCVs pushing uh, up and he tried to get he got into to the ramp of mana and he had con concussive shells, but uh, it wasn't success successful that push in that game. And then and and then he, in that game he was just kind of defending, defending, defending. Uh, he actually did counter attack, but eventually he won. So we'll just see what ha what ha happens this game. Straylock, uh, you're not. If uh, you're, you're not, if you could listen to me, if you could hear hear my words, you'd know that you're scouting the wrong place. But you will figure it out very soon that this is not where uh, your buddy Mana is. It, Mana is right here, though. It is the longest possible ground distance on this map. And again, that you know that will definitely play into the strategies strategies of both players. We do have the orbital command coming down. And I'm, ex I'm just excited to be here right now. This is a high-velocity game. Um, I'm a big fan of Mana. I'm a big fan of his play. I saw him in the DreamHack tournament. And, you know, one tournament ends and another tournament opens not too long after. So Mana is now... I think it's... I could probably just say Mana did lose against Nama in the finals. It's been long enough. I'm just going to talk about it like, you know, like it happened. It was like a couple weeks ago. So, um... <laughs> Man, Man is actually saying straight like out. Uh, Man is say saying to his opponent, "Get out of this game because it's lagging," and I think that's funny. Uh, just some very friendly banter between teammates. And uh, <laughs> it says Mouse straight like left the game. Um, <laughs> that's that's funny. I I just uh, these guys uh, these guys crack me up. Um, <laughs> you know. Uh, there is a debate out there, you know, Europeans are as competitive as Americans. The answer is probably no. Americans just seem to have this competitiveness driven into us from, tr you know, from birth. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really okay to lose, you know, b believe it or not. You know, it, it's like, it's fun to win, but it's okay to lose. And it's good especially to lose and honor your opponent. You know, just say, hey, good game, you won, you played a good game. Uh, it's not like anyone's really going to die. So let's see what the concussive shells was upgraded. So he is doing his, I guess this is the Straylock concussive shell push with one Marine, uh, a Marauder, and an SCV. He will get up the ramp success. No, he won't get up the ramp successfully because of a sentry is here. Does trap that SCV. SCV will go down as Zealot is in the is in almost lost his shields but those shields do regenerate quite quickly another force field going down and looks like this marine marauder will run away meanwhile what Straylock was doing was getting up another barracks and a command center so that kind of little push out uh, made him feel at that time he did have map control he did build, build a command center and guys this is a game of resources the more resources you can control the bigger army you can you can pump out and the more hurt you can put on your opponent um, Straylock saying not boxer. Uh, these guys are just not concentrated on the. Careful not to talk too much, guys. You got to focus on your game. It's good to be buddies, but I say drink a beer in the pub afterwards and talk about it, but not while you're playing in a tournament. 
Now I feel like it's a little bit too much. But anyway, here we have um, the Nexus going down for mana. Um, it is going to be two base versus two base. Mana, let's look at his gameplay. Looks like it just has a robo facility and two gateways. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if this is maybe not just... if This said, I, this said um, something cup. I think it was Zota Z Cup. So that's a Zotac Cup. So you usually don't see this kind of banter in a tournament, especially if it's being live casted. So um, I don't really have all the information. I could probably find that for game three. Because um, I, I find it a little bit odd how they're talking like that. Anyway, the command looks like the expansion for both players down at approximately the same time. This Nexus qu isn't quite done. And it, this game is going into, into the mid game. And I'm looking, oh my god, this is going to be a 40 minute game. Holy smokes. Uh, I need an overlay here, I do admit. So this is going to be a 40 minute game. I'm just clapping because I'm excited about that. You're going to be spending the next like, probably 30 minutes with me. So, um, let's. Uh, if these players are going to be uh, are going to be bantering like that, you know, I'm not going to be so serious. I'm just going to say, hey, you know, let's, let's make this a little bit more of a casual replay. But we do have an SEV going down, and I just love to get excited about everything that I can. <laughs> and uh, a bird. I wish that you could kill the birds on this map. You know, like if there's like an automaton 2000, you, you can't actually target it. And once it got in the way, I was trying to build like a forge or something, and it got in the way. So I wish you could you kill them, but you can't. Blizzard has to change that out. And um, looks like a nasty little push coming up from Mouse Mana. Got to be careful with that stalker because those concussive shells will, will kill you. And... Uh, I think that, you know, in the positions that they're in on this map, you it's not surprising to me that this is going to be a long macro game. Again, I, I need to get an overlay here. I don't know how yet, but I'll figure it out so that it won't spoil the time for you guys. But, um, you know, you can kind of expand away, and you're not really... You can kind of... I don't know. It just the, the positions are really determining the length of the game, you know, because it's, it's long dis ground distance, long air distance. It's a big map. So here we have a nice little push, but some force fields, which are going to cut these marauders in half, I guarantee you. No! Oh, I didn't really cut them in half. I think that uh, Strelok's in a great position. Those force fields didn't cut those units like they should have, and more marines coming through. Another force field coming down, but these stalkers' sentries are going to go down, and is this expansion in danger? I'd say yes, it is. Can you push this away? Why is Strelok running away? It's because the Colossus is out. It's shooting up from the high ground. Strelok can't see up on... Cannot see up there. It doesn't have anything... Doesn't have a medevac or anything to shoot that Colossus up there. Thank God for the Colossus, otherwise mana may not have been able to hold the second. And the Colossus did surprise me, even though the production tab was out. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, let, let's do that. Let's focus more on this game. Um, I did not know the Colossus was coming out. This is kind of a weird place for it because tanks can kind of pick it off. Um, it's kind of kind of stuck out there, that, that robo bait. That Colossus did save the day, and it looks like mana is prepping up to get a third. Meanwhile... Uh, do we have a third coming for, um, no, we don't have a third coming for Straylock, but he is building a starport, Marines, Marauders, uh, we're just looking at, we shouldn't be looking at that Observer, what's going on in the map right now, looks like we have a Twilight Council going down, and a Robo Facility, and the Destructible Rocks are going down, it is gonna get eliminated, it's down to 400 health, and this gold, this gold mineral is gonna be taken, yes, Straylock is on the path to a victory, and meanwhile, I don't see the gold being taken down, or Straylock, haha, ha, Straylock, I don't you plan on taking the third anytime. Okay, so Straylock knows that, that Mana has has the Colossus, so he is going to pump out. I wouldn't be surprised if he swapped the Starport with this reactor. Um, he's going to pump out Vikings because he needs to stay alive. Here goes the switcheroo. Going to be pumping out Vikings very soon, but meanwhile, let's look at what's going on at Templar Archive. So Colossus and Templar are very high-tech units for, for Sir, Sir Mana. And uh, I don't see Vikings coming out yet, but they will come out pretty darn soon. Um, just looking in the production tab. No, we don't have Vikings just yet. Let's go to the units tab, and it looks like we have 53 workers versus 53 workers. Two Colossus, two Colossi are out. 11 Marauders, 23 Marines, and if you go to the army count, it looks like uh, yeah, uh, Straylock does have a bigger army, but he is. I was going to say he's down expansions, but. Mana it hasn't built his third quite yet. It is a 12-minute mark, so it's not too late in the game. You might want to think about getting that kind of soon. And it looks like Straylock is just going to be doing another push. No, he's going to be actually getting his third. So uh, waiting for the Vikings. Here come the Vikings. Uh, if they had come down four Vikings out now, if they had come out any later, I think he would have been quite, quite a lot of danger. 
And um, you know what also you can do with Vikings is I saw Stray Light do last game was you can do some harassment in the back of the of the mineral line. Maybe not so much on this Mac, but on Delta Quadrant, you, it's probably more effective. You can put them in the back and then land them. On Delta Quadrant, you have this immense space where you have air in the back of your base. Anyway, both armies are just hanging out this, at, at the uh, uh, Zanaga Tower. Neither player really wants, wants to be aggressive. Both of them just want to safely get their third up and want to try and stay alive.